Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's subscribing. We got 500 subscribers. We're about halfway there to the thousand. About halfway there. We are halfway there to the thousand. Anyways, guys, I'm going to show you guys five cool tweaks that you can put on your jailbroken device today. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So the first tweak is going to be complications. It's these little things right here. It kind of looks like little Apple app watch complications. You can go ahead and set a bunch of different things. I'm currently using the messages one, weather, battery, and I think, yeah, that one's the weather, rain percentage. Anyways, you can go ahead and adjust the settings to this. We'll go ahead and jump over to the complications. So you can set the offsets, the vertical offsets, which basically is just the adjustment for where this is located. Uh, I think you can set, yeah, number of columns, number of rows, so you can add more of these, or you can have a second row if you want like 10 or something. I kind of prefer the stock look of how it comes uh, when you first install the tweak. I think it looks really nice. I just went and adjusted those top four. Anyways, it's really useful. You can use different applications. You can choose a specific app that you want to jump to straight from the lock screen. I just think it looks really nice. I like these little widget looking things. All right, the next tweak you're gonna be able to obviously see is called frame. It's how I got this video wallpaper playing in the background. So if we go ahead and jump over to frame, these are the settings for frame. Go ahead and just select choose wallpapers. Say we wanted to select one for the home screen. You can choose one of your own videos from your gallery or you can get a video, which there's a lot of cool different videos. There's a, for some reason a lot of anime. What I prefer is uh, landscapes. I think uh, there's a lot of awesome landscape ones. So if we go ahead and tap on that one, tap download. It's going to go ahead and download it and then it's going to ask you if you want to set it as your home screen or your lock screen or both we're going to go ahead and set it as our home screen real quick everyone seems to be on the internet right now since everyone's indoors so the download is taking a little bit longer there we go home screen so now when we go to the home screen i have those awesome waves and birds flying by it's just a really awesome tweak. All of the videos on here are really high res, so it looks really amazing. Abstract also, I use a lot of abstract ones. There's a bunch of cool different videos in here. But the main benefit is you can download whatever video that you want and you can set it as your wallpaper. All right, moving right along, we have another one called Xeon. Xeon is what's going to allow you to have a little symbol right here by the time I have the Apple up there. You can go ahead and just choose a bunch of different ones that come pre-installed. For example, say we want to switch to Batman. So pull down the notification bar. It'll switch back and forth for a little bit, I've noticed. But once you hit uh, a respring, after you set what you want, it usually sticks. All right, so there's the Batman logo. You can also download a bunch of different ones on Cydia. All of the Zeppelin icons are supported on this tweak, so if you want to download a bunch of different icons from the Zeppelin packages, they will all work on this Xeon tweak. Now when you first enable it, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select position. So. Let's go down and find position. So put position and tap both. That will make it so that it will stick next to the time. Otherwise, it'll only be in here. But it's really cool. Static and dynamic options. So dynamic just means that if you have a black background, then the icon will stay white. And if you have a white background, then it will change to black. Whereas static icon will only stay one color consistently. There is options for little GIFs too. 
such as like a Pac-Man GIF or a Tony Stark. But I just prefer a static icon. Anyways, guys, that one's called Xeon. Let's go ahead and jump into the next one. All right, this next tweak is an alternative to BioProtect. It's called A Shields. Basically, it allows you to go ahead and lock specific apps. So if we go ahead and enable it, we can go ahead and set an application. So say we want to set, um, let's do the phone. So now if we try to get into the phone, it's going to ask for face ID. Once you show your face ID, it will allow you into the phone. All right, so some other settings you can do a remember unlock session. So each time that you unlock your device, you only have to do it once until you relock your device. You could also do trusted networks. So if you're on a trusted Wi-Fi, then this app will disable so that you can just get into the app without having to scan your face. So it's actually a really amazing tweak and it is 100% free also. However, if you do want some additional customizations, it will take you to this website where you can purchase these additional customizations. But for most of your needs, it's gonna allow you to do exactly what you want it to do, which is lock specific apps or lock the control center. Anyways, guys, that one is called A Shields. All right, the last one that I'm gonna show you guys today is gonna be Lights Out. And what this basically allows is a light in a dark mode. So for example, if the lighting in the room is below a certain threshold, then it will switch your phone into dark mode. So if I put my phone under the light, you notice how it turns to light mode. I take it away from the light cover the sensor, it switches automatically to dark mode. Now this is also a good tweak to pair with dark papers. So you're gonna to wanna to install dark papers. It's going to go over to your wallpaper section. You're gonna choose new wallpaper stills. It's going to add a bunch of different wallpapers that are light mode and dark mode specific. So for example, I'm using the Stranger Things wallpaper. So when my phone is in light mode, it looks like that. And then once my phone switches to dark mode, it will also change the wallpaper to adjust. So once again, that tweak is called Lights Out and the other tweak is called Dark Papers. They kind of go hand in hand with each other and for me, I specifically have my light threshold at 126. It seems to keep me in dark mode the majority of the time, which is how I like it, unless I am outside or in pretty bright situations, then I'm fine with it switching over to light mode so that I can see better. Anyways, guys, that's the video. I hope you guys liked it. I really appreciate all the subscribers. We've hit 500 subscribers. We are halfway there to the thousand mark. If you guys have any questions or concerns, go ahead and leave them down in the comment sections. I'll try to answer all of the comments and help everybody out. I hope you guys are staying safe. Please remember to smack that like button and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.